Okay, so I've got my non-standard LCD that I want to add to my schematic. So I need to actually go make a new component here in uh, the PCB library manager. Now I'm just going to start up. Uh, I should have already posted the video uh, talking about how to make a PCB outline or PCB footprint because it's not a standard footprint. So once that's made, we can uh, go into the wizard here for making a new component. And obviously we want a normal component which includes PCB footprints and schematic uh, components because we want to have a schematic representation which we can connect to an electrical schematic and a PCB footprint which we can route all of the uh, traces to. So obviously we're going to start with normal component and we're just going to call it D 4101A. It's going to be a dual inline package because there's two lines of you know pins and we're just calling it LCD. There's going to be 40 pins on the PCB symbol and there's going to be one gate in the schematic symbol. So there's going to be one big box that everything connects to and there's going to be 40 connections when we actually go to the PCB to route traces. So the schematic symbol I've already got selected here is from Prolib and it's just a big box with 40 connections on it. Pretty self-explanatory and simple. And then we're going to move on to the PCB symbol which should load up soon here. Alright, so I've saved my custom one here in Prolib as well. It's called LXD4101. As you can see from the previous video, it's all outlined out, dimensioned, got all the proper number of um, pins, you know, it, with proper spacing where they need to be. So we're just going to start that and tell it to assign all the pins one to one. So schematic terminal pin number one is equal to PCB pin number one. And we can go in and give each pin a name, like this pin is for power, this pin's for ground, etc, etc. But uh, that's going to take a while, so I'm just going to skip that for now. So I'm just going to save the component and go into the edit to take a quick look at it. So here we go. We're looking at our components. So this is what we're going to see in our schematic. It's just going to be a box with 40 pins and we're going to have to connect it up. And on our PCB layout, we're going to see this, you know, big old blob with all of these connections. You can see all the uh, different um, pin numbers here. They're a little bit overlapping, but it's not a big deal. The main thing is that, you know, pin 20 is where pin 20 is supposed to be and pin 1 here is supposed to, where pin 1 is supposed to be and pin 40 pin 21 like I said before it's really easy to mess up the order so everything looks great just gonna make sure it's saved close that out so now we have that in the library and my next little video is going to be talking about starting up on the schematic <laughs>